Noella Rucundo sat in the shadows, watching her own funeral unfold. As the last mourner left, she stepped from her hiding place, confronting her husband, Balinga Kalala, who screamed in shock at the sight of her, his supposedly dead wife. Minutes later, the police arrived, and as they handcuffed him, Balinga's world crumbled. This marked a dramatic climax to a harrowing tale of betrayal, survival, and resilience. But hey, before we dive into the story, do yourself a favor and pause the video right now. Go hit that like button and let's see if we can make this video reach 1,000 likes. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to your favorite story channel. Also make sure to ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest and weirdest stories. Trust us, you won't want to miss what's coming your way. Now sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed as we take you on an unforgettable ride. Don't forget to engage with us in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Rewind to a few years earlier when Noella, after losing her first husband in their native Burundi, moved to Australia with her five children. In Melbourne, she found not just a job, but a new beginning. It was here, at the resettlement agency where she worked, that she met Balinga Kalala, a translator and widower who shared a similar past. Their connection was immediate and deep, and before long, they fell in love. Noella, revisiting her decision to remain unmarried, found herself drawn into a new family life with Balinga, eventually having three more children with him. However, the marriage took a dark turn as Balinga's demeanor shifted from caring to controlling and eventually abusive. Despite the growing violence, Noella's love for Balinga saw her forgive him time and again until a trip back to Burundi tragically changed everything. Noella had returned to Burundi to attend her stepmother's funeral, a woman who had been a pillar in her life. After the burial, emotionally exhausted, she retired to her hotel. Following a concerning suggestion from Balinga to get some fresh air, she stepped outside, only to be kidnapped by armed men. They blindfolded her, drove her to a remote location, and revealed a chilling truth. Her own husband had orchestrated the kidnapping and ordered her murder. In a cold, dimly lit room, Noella faced her captors with a mix of fear and disbelief. But in a surprising turn of events, the kidnappers chose to spare her life, disgusted by Balinga's plot to kill his wife. They released her two days later with evidence of Balinga's betrayal bank receipts and a memory card containing their damning conversations. Noella's return to Melbourne on the day of her supposed funeral was nothing short of cinematic. Confronting Balinga as he mourned her at the funeral he had arranged, she exposed his deception before the authorities took him away. His subsequent confession during a monitored phone call added to the evidence against him. In the trial that followed, the judge sentenced Balinga to nine years in prison after he pleaded guilty swayed by remorse and the evidence stacked against him. Noella, freed from the man who had vowed to love her but plotted to kill her, chose to move to another city with her children, focusing on healing and building a peaceful life away from the past that haunted her. As Noella put it, reflecting on her ordeal and her new lease on life, God gave me a second chance to live, and I will use it to the best of my ability. This story of Noella Rocundo's harrowing escape from death, her confrontation with betrayal and her pursuit of justice is not just inspiring but a stark reminder of the resilience of the human spirit.